Hello everyone, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with a, another jewelry bag unbagging. Um, this one I actually had to break into a little bit because there was a watch that I wanted to pull out for a Disney lot that I did on the Mothership Products um, auction that I did this weekend. And so this one I paid $4.99 for the entire bag. So I figured I didn't even hardly look at it that much because, you know, it was busy. It was on a Wednesday half price day. So I'm like $4.99, what's the worst that can happen, right? So, um, and it wasn't half off that day. So I did just pay the full four. $4.99 for this bag and I have gotten um, another bag but I'm not even going to show you guys what I got in it because it was just it was not good but I I think there are definitely some nice things in this one so um, excuse my my fingers I just painted them and I <laughs> I apparently cannot paint in the lines so I apologize for that um, but I didn't want to do bare nails <laughs> but I'm not sure if this is any better so I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments so I'm also gonna try not to ruin my terrible manicure that I did if I can help it So I saw this one in there. I, I don't know, like, I think it's pretty. It is a pretty bracelet. Um, but it feels pretty cheap. And there's, there's a little scratch in this one. But, and there is this bracelet. Which is kind of cool. And it is actually... Avon. So that's kind of neat. So this is one necklace. It says love. And has like these. Which is pretty. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Butterfingers here today. So this is really pretty, I think. I quite like this one. And then this is a magnifying glass, which is nice. Doesn't seem very, very scratched or anything. I think that'll polish up real nice. And this is what the chain looks like. There's no marks or anything on any of it at all. And it's got a nice, nice long chain to it. Is, guess, yeah. And that's quite nice. So this is what it looks like. So this is pretty. There's no mark or anything on it. It's just plain black. Um, now this one. got a very pretty um, clasp and it's got a crown on here some J it says juicy couture so it, it's not in perfect shape because um, there's some like wear to this side 
but that's nice. My brother, he's got like this really bad allergy to smells. I'm like he won't even let his girlfriend do candles or anything. Mine isn't that bad. So this says Japan, which is nice. And this is pretty. So it's not heavy. It's like a uh, plastic. But it's very pretty. There's some, you know, coming off on here. So it's it's not in perfect shape, but could be worse. So there is this bracelet. I don't know what this is made out of. It's metal. Um, but it's like coated and it is a bangle bracelet and I actually really like this. I think it's really, really kind of cool, kind of timeless. So, and it's in pretty good shape, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it at all. So I, that I, I like a lot. This one says just breathe, which is ironic for those of us who have asthma like myself. <laughs> Fresh air. So, and it's got a little tag, JK. <laughs> breathe, just breathe, asthmatic. Fresh air, just kidding. I know that's not what it is, but I'm just being silly. I have never seen this before. This is marked here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Oh, yeah, there you go. Steel. I don't know what it says. S steel. B steel. I don't know. But, um, that's kind of cool. I think the JK is actually the designer. Yeah, Jewel Cade. That's, that's, that's the name of it. So it's kind of cool. It's like that altered art kind of. Um, found found pieces aesthetic um, and this one I think this is leather actually kind of feels like leather um, could be a pleather I'm not sure you don't see any marks or anything this actually seems to be in pretty nice shape Know, there's a little bit of wear on the band but it is not it's not bad and the coating is pretty nice so and shell bracelet super beachy which is nice for the summer summer is hopefully just around the corner and this is nice it is brass and probably bone, I would imagine. Breast, breast and bone bangle. And these look really nice. I have some other ones over there. Um, some other brass bangles. And they look really nice stacked up. And then there is a Nike watch. It's made in China. Nike Plus. So this is a pretty one. I don't know. It feels feels like it could be clay, right? Because that's what you know, kind of looks like. 
inside, but maybe with a strong lacquer on it. So that's cool. I like that. And it's a pretty bud rose with the uh, V construction. Well, that's pretty. So it's a like hammered looking, it looks handmade or artisan made circle because it's not perfect. See, it like doesn't go on completely. And it is marked. Gold filled. I can see the GF. Yep, looks like 110 gold. Gold filled. 120. 14 karat gold filled. So I, I think I should be able to, to fix the clasp there. It's not too bad. But um, that is really cute. Nice and simple. I almost think my daughter might even like it. But that's probably hoping for too much. It is just a cameo. So that's cute. That's fun. <laughs> My hair w would, I don't even know if it would fit in there. It's a scrunchie. I'm going to have to try it though. Totally going to try to put my ha hair in that after I wash it. This is pretty. It's a nice blue, like seafoam blue bangle just a silver chain those are always nice because they get lots of pendants like this one with no chain so this could have actually went with it possibly that is really cool so it's just um the glass with the bail glued on but it is i love the design with the clear on the white with the little confetti marks in there and that's cool this one is just a black plastic bangle and here is a lipstick holder that's cool it looks like it was always plain sometimes these have designs on them i have some with you know, designs on them, but it doesn't look like anything fell off of this one. It looks like it was just always plain. And you would open it up, and your lipstick would go in there, and you would reapply. Oh, that's really neat. I love this um, chain. It's really cool. One little simple bead, and this really neat Art Nouveau type um, organic design. Let's see. It says JDNI or UDNI. One of those. Never heard of either one. But I also like the ring that they put this on. And the clasp is really neat. And I was actually going to do do a video about finding markings because sometimes they're really hidden. So we're going to zoom in here. I did not see it anywhere here, but it is actually hidden there. 925. So, and that's what this one looks like. That's really cool. I think this might be artisan made. We do have, um, you know, some art festivals and things here. And I, I love this chain a lot. That's really cool. So this is not magnetic, just the clasp. Here is Sarah Coventry P. 
So um, it's marking on the back. And Sarah Coventry did all of the letters of the alphabet. I'm curious as to how many people have them all. Mexican. 50 cents. So it's always fun to get a jewelry jar and find money in your jewelry jar. Um, so there is one missing out of this one. It's kind of cool. And this is, um, you know, cheaper Pandora style bracelet. No markings or anything. It, this wouldn't be silver or gold. Um, there is no marking on this, but it is just a plain, plain chain. It's pretty long. It's pretty nice, actually. It would be nice with a, the right pendant. This is cool. So it is a rose gold stone. I believe is a man-made stone but I think they are just beautiful and it also has gold stone um, gold stone stones <laughs> beads gold stone beads and there is some somewhere to it but it doesn't look that bad and that's what the clasp looks like so this is a bracelet, glass and crystal beads. This says New York, so New York and Company. And these are these are heavy. And the, there's a little bit of like rust in there, so hopefully I'll be able to clean that. But, um, and if not, it's okay. It just says loft. So, if I'm going to buy a new necklace or wear a new necklace, these are um, one of the types I will wear because I like the little bit of blinginess. So that's pretty. Just a little rhinestone on a pretzel. And there are no markings on here at all. But it's, it's nice and simple. So there is this glass pendant. I'm so surprised these are so sturdy. There's no no marking at all on the chain. I usually don't see them on metal chains. I assume somebody put it on there. But um I'm surprised how little these things seem to break when they're just like sitting in the jewelry jars. That's pretty. It is damaskine, a uh, pendant bird. It's somewhere on the back, but the front is pretty. There's, there's a knot in here, but that's okay. So that's pretty. That is very pretty. So black enamel flower brooch, no name. Um, it's nice. So I am I am almost at a thousand subscribers. I need like a little less than a hundred more. I am extremely excited. Um, it's been such a fun journey so far, and I am excited for it to continue.
and especially since my husband has been joining me. Um, it's just been a lot of fun for us to kind of kind of share. So this is unfortunate that I didn't get it before the Olympics were over. <laughs> Looks like an Olympic necklace. But so if I say that I like the crystal necklaces to wear like more modern necklaces, I also like these ones. Um, and this is interesting because it's got like you can um, do the latch there or you can do the latch here. And I don't see any markings anywhere on this. I never know what you're going to find in, in here. Nope. So this might be an inklet. Inkle bracelet. Pineapple. So this is cute. I think these are actually made out of looks like could be one little chippy missing there. But they are made out of um, chips. Looks like coral. Like little coral chips. And then there's just one missing there. Um, no markings. Ooh. Um, and my daughter, she loves the show Psych. And every episode, they hide a pineapple in it somewhere. And so whenever I see anything with a pineapple, I think of my daughter. And it looks like it is gold filled. 1 20th, 14 carat. So that's pretty. So this is cool it is a shell necklace a shell y necklace y necklaces were pretty popular um in the 90s i think i know he used to wear some of them it's cute so it's nice when you see something in a bag in a bag Ooh. How cool is that? It's like an old style abalone and inlaid shoe. That is really neat. I have never really seen anything like that before. And there's no marking in the back. And I don't see anything on the bale or anything. And there is no marking on the chain. But how cool is that? I just love that. And I love the little buttons. That's super cool. Okay. So this is a nice enamel purse holder. So that one's nice. So there's an arrow necklace and here is attached with this other necklace that we're gonna get that off <laughs> at least on camera and then there is this other one it's unsigned a bear <gasps> oh oh how cute tcf <gasps> Ooh, that's so cute oh, the clasp is missing but that super easy fix so this has hearts and I think that's grumpy right the clouds and there's the raindrops looks like an ankle bracelet so it's pretty big so that is getting fixed we have this necklace that's well, pretty there's no markings or anything it's very cute though. Um, then there is this necklace and it has the old fashioned clasp on it and 
is marked. Monet. So that is a Mona hang tag. But this one I hate when they mark it like that because HML ink stainless steel. They're so hard to see those marks. Oh, Caroline. Caroline watch. On a chain. So this I'm not going to be able to get off, but <laughs> this is what this necklace looks like. And um, there's just um, plain, plain bangle, bangle, not bagel. Um, there is this. So that is pretty. Boo. I don't see any marking on that one. And then this is this uh, like agate. It's a stone. It's cold to the touch. And then this stone. It's pretty. Is this it's just got leaves I love this and the Damascene Damascene and these are fun too actually I'm not gonna buy these but I will see if I can collect enough of them in jewelry jars. I also got money. Um, this I love. This is so beautiful. I'm pretty sure that that, like I said, was artisan made. This is heavy. I think it may be silver. None of it is magnetic. This was very pretty. Gold filled. And I love this boot. Um, and the widow pineapple is adorable. And this fresh air is cute. I was just kidding about the asthma. But I, I like these positive me messages. And the gold stone is pretty. And this um, gold filled crucifix. There was a lot of nice things in here. And even this, this brooch is very pretty. And, you know, there are some really nice things in here. This too. And I do like this. It's not worth a lot. But it's a nice um, modern necklace so overall I am incredibly happy with this for $4.99 definitely worth it um like I said I have spent more at this one and got one that was like legit filled with nothing I hope you enjoyed um again if you guys are not subscribed I um urge you to to subscribe because if you do and I get to a thousand subscribers my husband will be doing his cat and pin collection video and I'm sure I can also muster a giveaway for my subscribers and everyone who's been here with me over the last year um, it's super exciting I love sharing my love of jewelry and my knowledge and getting other people's knowledge um, for example, there was something that I thought was petrified wood that somebody had left a comment saying that it was actually antler. And I did some research and they were 100% right. 
it was antler and I, you know, somebody has left a comment saying that a brooch that I got out of a jewelry jar was Juliana did some research and they were 100% correct in that too. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. All right.